Okay, hello. So, for this video, I'm going to show you how to find the value of the variable that makes the rational expression undefined. Okay? So, pag tinatanong lang tayo to find the value that makes the expression undefined, ang lagi nyo lang titignan yung denominator ng rational expression. So, let's have the first example. 3x all over x minus 2. So, ang denominator natin is x minus 2. Ang gagawin natin sa denominator, we're going to equate that to 0. Hahayaan muna natin na maging 0 siya ngayon. Okay? Next, to solve for x, mag apply lang tayo lagi ng mga properties. Usually, addition property of equality or multiplication property of equality. In this case, ang ia-apply natin is addition property of equality or ang shortcut nun, nililipat natin on the other side of the equation. Kaya ito magiging x is equal to 2. So, the value of x that makes this expression undefined or meaningless is 2. So, paano natin sinusulat yung restriction? Ang restriction natin dito, x should not be equal to 2. Okay? Next, 5r all over r squared minus 9. So, again, ano yung denominator? r squared minus 9. So, to find the restricted value, the first thing you have to do is to equate it to 0. Okay, in this case, hindi agad tayo makakapag-apply ng APE because this is a binomial. And what kind of binomial is this? This is a difference of two squares. Mali yung sinusulat ko. Okay, this is an example of difference of two squares. Paano natin fina-factor out yung difference of two squares ulit? That is, the quantity of R plus, sa kabila naman, the quantity of R minus equals 0. So, ano yun nandito sa second term ng first binomial? Positive 3. Sa second binomial, negative 3. And then, we're going to solve for the value of R. We apply zero product property. So, we will have R plus 3 is equal to 0. On the other side, r minus 3 is equal to 0. This time, pwede na tayo mag-APE. So, for this, for this binomial, r is equal to negative 3. On the other side, r is equal to positive 3. So, we have two restricted values. Uh, explain ko pala, bakit sila restricted ulit? Kasi, pag ipinalit natin siya dito o sinabstitute sa variable, yung denominator natin magiging 0. So, for our second example, r should not be equal to 3 or negative 3. Okay? Third example, we have 7 all over x, square, x squared minus 14x minus 15. So, again, get the denominator, x squared minus 14x minus 15 equate to 0. This is a trinomial, a general trinomial. So, we need to factor it out. At ang factors niyan ay two binomials. So, paano nga ulit mag-factor out nito? Tingnan yung last term. This is a product. Since it is negative, then we are looking for two numbers with different signs. Okay? So, ano yung factors ng negative 15 kapag inad ang sum ay negative 14? Okay. Those are negative 15 and positive 1. So, sa unahan yan, x lang yan. Okay, now that we have completed the factors, let us solve for x. So, we have x plus 1 is equal to 0. x minus 15 is equal to 0 by 0 product property. 
So, for this side, by APE, our x is equal to negative 1. And on this side, our x is positive 15. Again, we have two values of x. So, let's write our restricted values. Our restricted values are x should not be equal to negative 1 or 15. Okay? Kung may tanong, i-comment nyo lang dito sa baba para masasagot natin yung mga questions nyo. Fourth example, 4y all over y plus 6. So again, get the denominator, equate it to 0. This is not factorable. Okay? So, pwede na tayong dumiretso agad sa APE, shortcut, lipat lang to. Tandaan kapag naglilipat yung shortcut ng APE, you're just going to change the sign. So, kung positive 6 yan, nilipat nyo from left to right, magiging negative 6. So, for this example, the restricted value of the variable y is negative 6. Baka ang tanong nyo, ma'am, kailan po walang restrictions? Possible po ba yun? Yes, possible yun. Let me give you an example. Supposedly, we have here a squared minus 1 all over 5. So, what is our denominator? Our denominator is 5. And that is a constant term. So, ito, hindi naman natin mapapalitan na yung constant because it's fixed. That's why, for this example, we don't have a restricted value. Okay? Nagets ba yun? So, kailan lang may restricted value? Kapag ang denominator ay variable. Okay, for this example, 2x plus 5 all over x squared plus 7x plus 10. After you watch this video, I want you to comment ano yung restricted values na variable x. Okay, I want you to try this. Salamat! So, kung may tanong, again, ilagay nyo lang dyan sa comment box natin.